Township Council for Monday, April 9, 2018. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided to the public and the press on January 5, 2018. We spoke on the board of the board in accordance in the municipal building in accordance with the open public meetings that have been made at the same point in the next step. Roll call. Council Member Owen? Here. Council Member Kadish? Here. Council Member Van Tassel? Here. Council Member Allberger? Here. Council President Burke? Here. Please rise to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have a couple of proclamations on the agenda this evening. The uh, first one is for Earth Day. Whereas the first Earth Day was celebrated on April 22, 1970, with the goal of inspiring environmental awareness and encouraging the conservation and appreciation of our nation's natural resources, and whereas it is the responsibility of each of, of, each of use to safeguard the environment by recognizing that all human life depends upon the earth and upon one another for our mutual existence, well-being, and development. And whereas the steps we can take to protect and preserve our natural environment through education, partnerships, and positive actions should be encouraged in Vernon, and whereas the residents of the Township of Vernon are committed not only to the protection and preservation of our environment, but also to the restoration of ecosystems and habitat, and whereas the residents of the Township of Vernon, staff, and elected officials have worked closely with federal, state, and local governments and with non-governmental organizations to develop and implement regulations and ordinances specifically designed to preserve and improve Virgin's fragile ecosystems and the quality of life therein, and whereas Vernon proudly recognizes all who participate in Earth Day for their dedication to taking a proactive role in shaping the future of our environment and in protecting Vernon's precious natural resource. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Vernon, County of Sussex, State of New Jersey, have hereby proclaimed April 22, 2018, to be Earth Day. Further, the Council urges all citizens to be mindful of local, state, and national laws which protect our environment and to join in efforts to preserve the beauty and wonders of, of the lands, skies, and water of the earth in all its diversity. Harry J. Shortway, Mayor, Jean Murphy, Council President. Next, we have the Parkinson's Disease Awareness Month. Will Councilman Kadish please read that one? Proclamation. Parkinson's Disease Awareness Month. Whereas Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurological disorder of the central nervous system and which has a unique impact on each patient. <clears throat> and whereas, according to the Parkinson's Action Network, the Parkinson's Disease Foundation, and the National Parkinson's, uh, Parkinson's Foundation, the American Parkinson's Disease Association, and National Institutes of Health, there are over one million Americans diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, and whereas symptoms include slowness, tremor, difficulty with balance and speaking rigidity, um, cognitive and memory problems, and whereas, although new medicines and therapies may enhance life for some time with people with Parkinson's, more work is needed for a cure. And whereas, increased education and research are needed to help find more effective treatments for, with fewer side effects and ultimately a cure for Parkinson's disease. And whereas multidisciplinary approach to Parkinson's disease care includes local wellness, support, and caregiver groups, and whereas April has been proclaimed as Worldwide Parkinson's Awareness Month for all to recognize the need for more research and help in dealing with the devastating effects of Parkinson's disease. Now, therefore, the Mayor and Council of the Township of Vernon do hereby proclaim April 2018 as Parkinson's Disease Awareness Month in Vernon Township, given under my hand in these three United States in the Township of Vernon on this ninth day of April 2018, and to which I have caused the seal of the Township of Vernon to be affixed, and have made this proclamation public. Harry J. Shortway, Mayor. Jean Murphy, Council President. Thank you. Next, we have public comment. 
This public comment is on current agenda items only. Please note public comments are limited to three minutes per person on current agenda items only. May I have a motion to – may I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Is there anyone from the public that has any comments that would like to step up? Seeing no one, uh, may I have a motion to close the public? Motion. motion. May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Next, we move on to the approval of the minutes. May I have a motion to adopt the following minutes? Executive session minutes from March 12, 2018, and the regular meeting minutes of March 12, 2018. Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Councilmember Yes. Councilmember Yes. 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 We now move on to the um, municipal budget. Resolution 1818, a resolution to read the 2018 municipal budget by title only. This allows the township to read the budget by title rather than line by line at a public hearing. May I have a motion to adopt resolution 18118? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call? Yes. 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 Next we have, we'll move on to the public hearing on the municipal budget. Resolution 18108, 2018 municipal budget. May I have a motion to open the public hearing for resolution 18108? The 2018 municipal budget. Motion. May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Is there anyone from the public that uh, would like to step up and have any comments on the municipal budget? Seeing no one, may I have a motion to close the public hearing for resolution 18108? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? May I have a motion? Next is the adoption of the municipal budget for resolution 18108. May I have a motion to adopt resolution 18108? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Councilmember Holmes? No. Councilmember Kadish? Yes. Councilmember Van Tassel? Yes. Councilmember Olberger? Yes. Council President Murphy? Yes. Next, we have the consent agenda. Resolution 18119, refund for totally disabled veteran. This, this resolution, this and resolution um, 18120, cancel taxes and offer a refund for totally disabled veterans. Resolution 18121, this resolution authorizes an agreement for professional services with Jonathan McMean of Laddie Clark and Ryan for legal services. This authorizes a conflict prosecutor. Resolution 18122, resolution authorizing the application to the New Jersey Division of Highway Traffic Safety for a seatbelt enforcement program, click it or ticket. This authorizes the application for click it or ticket. Resolution 18123, resolution accepting big bid of integrated microsystems for information technology services. This establishes a new IT servicer. Resolution 18124, resolution accepting bid for Echelon services for plumbing services. This awards the plumbing bid to Echelon. Resolution 18125, establishing redevelopment committee. This creates a township redevelopment committee. Resolution 18126, authorizes the award of a required disclosure contract with Surety Title Company, LLC, for title services. This allows for title services for the properties purchased at the auction. There is no cost to the township. Resolution 18127, resolution ratifying and reaffirming resolution 06106, designating a portion of McAfee Village as an area in need of redevelopment. This reaffirms a resolution passed by the council in 2006, but was not filed. Resolution 18128, resolution of the Township of Vernon, County of Sussex, State of New Jersey, authorizing the execution of a third addendum to a contract for sale of real property. This authorizes an additional addendum for the purchase of the Wisteria property. May I have a motion to adopt resolutions 18? Wait, 
119 through 18, 128. I'd like you to pull out two resolutions, please. Sure. Resolution 125, 18-125, and 18-128. 128, you said? Yes, 128. Okay, may I have a motion to adopt resolutions 18-119 through 18-124, 18-126, and 18-127? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Yes. 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 Uh, resolution eighteen one twenty five. May I have a, a motion to adopt resolution eighteen? Um, I'd like to discuss this with the council before we. Sure. This here, um, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but this committee, um, I didn't see a line item in the budget. Did you guys see a line item in the budget for this committee, how much money they could spend? This, did you see one in there? Did I see one? No. This no. Is, this, right? this is so something we don't know how much money this but is going to be budgeted for this. So. Well, but an ad hoc committee doesn't get a budget. So will these people be working for free? The township engineer, the land uh, special attorney, water specialist, and planner? If they're working for free, I have no problem with this. So is there, are they working for free? Does anybody know? They're not working for free. They don't normally work for free. All right. It's so part of the redevelopment. So if there's no money in the so, budget, I mean, a, a set amount should be dedicated to this. This, well, we don't know how much money they're going to spend. It comes out of it comes out of the budgets for those professionals. I think there should be a limit on it or something. Um, that money in the budget is for general engineering that the town uses, not for this. Well, so unless you guys put more in there and didn't tell us about it, that some of it was going to be used for this committee, so we weren't made aware of that during discussion. Second thing, township member, township council member, township council member are two members of this committee. They will never be able to vote on anything that has to do with redevelopment. So that means only three council members will decide what goes on with redevelopment. This is not a committee that's voting on anything. But there will be it's an odd hack. It's, it's an odd hack. No, no, it's an no. Committee. Okay. Mr. Rizzuto <laughs> was not allowed to vote. Because he sat on a committee. Which for committee that would Greenway, that have been? Which that Greenway? Which, that, was not, that, that was not a committee that was sanctioned by the town. Doesn't that, matter. That, yeah, it does matter. Yes, okay. they, should, uh, they should not be voting because you're leading the discussion during that, this. When you go you're, to land you're mixing use, apples and no, oranges. No, I am not. You are. The no, Greenway Committee wait. had nothing to do with the municipality. I'm not going to argue with you. The land use, well, I'm not trying to argue. This you is are. a discussion. Why is everybody so defensive? Nobody's defensive, yes, but you're you making are. accusations, and they're not accurate. I am not making accusations. Okay, I'm just going to do a roll call. Wait, is there anybody hello? else that has I'm a discussion? I'm not done talking. Wait a second. When land use, when there's a council member that sits on the land use, they can't vote on items that may come to the council. So a council member sitting on this board, okay, they won't vote, but they're still leading the direction. That's why they can't vote on certain things. So I believe two council members should not be a member. There is a big conflict there. Is there a conflict? And I believe most. No, I don't see a conflict with this. Oh, come on. It's an ad hoc committee. You know, the whole if point. If you would of like to laugh, may you take it out in the lobby, please? Thank you. But you're disrupting the meeting. I'm not talking. You're talking to me. You're, you're disrupting. No, you're disrupting. No, I'm not. You, you are. No, I'm not. You are, Mr. Tadrick. No, I'm not. You are. Mrs. Yeah. May I have a motion to adopt Resolution 18125? May I have a motion to adopt Resolution 18125? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Councilmember Ohms? No. Councilmember Kadish? Yes. Councilmember Van Tassel? Yes. Councilmember Alberger? Yes. 
Council President Murphy. Yes. Motion carries to adopt resolution 18125. Next, we have uh, resolution 18128. Okay, I'd like to discuss this one as well. What changed with this piece of property? They're talking about wisteria. The last we knew about this, there was a letter sent to the bank that said that they were not going to purchase this. The town wasn't going to purchase this, and the deal was done. So from there, it went to a lot of uh, disparaging remarks about that property on Facebook. And it, I remember the mayor saying he wouldn't spend one dollar on this property. <coughs> So now what's, what's changed, and why should we vote for this? Mr. Volker, do you know what's changed? What all of a sudden now has changed that this is a great deal now? <laughs> like well, that look. What changed? It was so toxic, and you made such a circus out of this. Well, now I can answer changed? your question is that the bank actually came forward and said that they are um, paying for the removal of the soil and that if we wanted to do any other further testing, we would be responsible for the further testing. Well, that's not what this addendum says. It says we're going to, to split the cost. So it's not that they're cleaning it up. Mm -hmm. It says here the parties agree to share in the cost of soil and debris removal. Mm -hmm. So that's not true. So now what's changed? Why, why should we vote for this? Because I want to know what's changed since it was deemed such a mess. Well, I'm not on Facebook, so I'm not sure what you Neither were reading. Neither am I, so I don't know exactly what you thought. This about. was, they disparaged anybody that owned this in the past and everything. Now, I'm not against purchasing this, but I want to know what's changed. And I just told you what was changed. Well, it's not true, though, you told me, because it says the parties agreed to share the cost. So there's no, this is going to be addendum to this old contract. You're asking us to vote on this old contract. I think we should be voting on something that's current. Um, also here, I mean, in this agreement, mm -hmm. which I would like to see the agreement, because we don't have the agreement that has the addendums in it. So this is an old contract. So I don't think we should vote on it until we see the actual contract. But I think that cost to clean up should be up to a certain amount. This is left. It, it is right on top, the first on the resolution. It says not to exceed $8,500. No, it's, no, that's soil testing. That's, what, that's not debris removal. There's that's, two different things that's here. What, that's what we're voting on. We're voting on, on the soil, on yeah, the soil no, testing. No, no, because this is in the back here. No, we're voting on the soil testing not to exceed $8,500. Then why is all this stuff here, this addendum? I think we're voting on this addendum as well. Which addendum are you referring to? Then why is all this Which addendum to it? are you referring to? On page two. Yeah, and well, we are splitting in the cost, but we're not, we're not exceeding the $8,500. It says here, so why does it say in the back here, the contract dated July 6, 2016 shall be amended as follow. If I vote on this, we're voting for this whole thing. <laughs> Well, we're amending the contract to have this that, for the $8,500. Then what's this here, where it says this we're, third we're, addendum to we're purchase? We're extending it until May 30th. Because this is the third addendum to and the contract. And we agree that it's Right, so we're a... voting on this third addendum? Mm hmm Right, so that third addendum says the parties agree to share in the cost of soil and debris removal. Right, and the share is $8,500, not to exceed $8,500. But... It's two different things. This is soil testing, not to exceed. And then this is the parties agree to share the cost of soil and debris removal. This is a phase two. This, I read it as this soil testing is a phase two, to perform a phase two. That's different than removal. Did you have something to say here? Well, what I was told when I was certifying the funds is that the, where it says in B, uh, the parties agree to share in the cost of soil debris removal responsibility of Classic Lake Enterprises. So they're taking care of the soil and debris removal and the testing of soil samples and said report results is burning. So we're only doing this testing. We're not doing the soil removal. Okay, so why... That's what we're voting on, I believe. So why does this... But then why does it say the parties agree to share in the cost of soil and debris removal? And then in parentheses it says responsibility of them and the testing in soil is responsibility of us. In 
Maybe it's written. Maybe it needs to be clarified in the writing, but that's. Yeah, I don't read it as that at any, all. We were, I was told we're not paying for any school right. removal for debris. Yeah, the way you read it, it, it looks correct. Mm -hmm. So, and that's we're only testing it after they do that, the work. That's that's all we're that's all we're doing. No, that doesn't but, really reflect well, in this. May I have a motion to adopt resolution eighteen one twenty eight? But what about the contract? I've already that, called the question. Wait a second. I, I'm not done talking. <laughs> wait. Jeez. Oh what are you talking? Well, I'm saying where is, I'd like to see the you, contract. And as everybody's that, laughing and you're doing this, you know, you had, and this is one of the things, you certainly can discuss it in public, but there is really no reason why you cannot try to reach out, and I'll say this I again. Got this agenda, to this administration added on Saturday. I got this Saturday. Yeah, and Ms. there's really Ms. no reason why you still can't try why to reach out. Why doesn't somebody call me and explain it? That's your responsibility. No, it's yes, not. Yes, it is. No, so... And I got this on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So I believe we need the new contract with the new addendum in it for us to vote on it. We're not I'm getting not a new contract. It was the third addendum, and correctly. the mayor. I'm not the mayor against went, buying the property. I just want it done correctly, and we should be voting on the actual contract. I, I contract. apologize, Mr. Tadrick, that it was Mr. Rizzuto doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, may I have a motion to adopt resolution 18128? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. I want to buy the property, but I want to vote on the real contract, so no. Council Member Kadish? Yes. Council Member Fantastic? Yes. Council Member Alberger? Yes. Council Member President Murphy? Yes. Motion carries to adopt resolution 181. Now, I have another question. Oh, oh, go ahead. Um, Township of Vernon Resolution 16. Dash 157, and it seems to be a parallel resolution, but I don't understand the numbers. And since the numbers aren't on the agenda, I'm confused. Is this in the redevelopment? Mm -hmm. That was the one from 2016. Oh, that was the old yeah. one. So that's just here as, as an example? Yes. All right, good. Introduction, uh, first reading of proposed ordinances. Ordinance 1816, bond ordinance providing for the improvement of the sanitary sewerage system in and by the Township of Vernon in the County of Sussex, New Jersey, appropriating 140000 therefore in authorizing the issuance of 140000 bonds or notes of the Township for financing such appropriation. As the title states, this provides bonding for the sewer. May I have a motion to introduce Ordinance 1816 with a public hearing to be held on April 14th, 2018? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Member Yes. Councilmember Hadish? Yes. Member Mantas? Yes. Ordinance 1817, bond ordinance appropriating $2,380,870. Correction. The public hearing should be April 23rd. Um, ordinance 1816, it's April 23rd. Yes. And authorizing the issuance of 1,453,000 bonds or notes of the township for various improvements or purposes authorized to be undertaken by the Township of Vernon in the County of Sussex, New Jersey. May I have a motion to introduce Ordinance 1817 with a public hearing to be held April 14th? Is that April 23rd also? Okay. Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Council Member Owen? Yes. Council Member Kadish? Yes. Member Van Tassel? Yes. Council Member Alberger? Abstain. Council President Murphy. Yes. Motion to introduce Ordinance 1817 with a public hearing on April 23rd. Ordinance 1812. This is a public hearing, uh, the second reading. Ordinance to amend and supplement Chapter 89 of the Code of the Township of Vernon entitled Personnel Policies. This establishes a health insurance waiver program for the township. May I have a motion to open the public hearing for Ordinance 1812? Motion. May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Is there anyone from the public uh, that would like to step up and have any comments on Ordinance 1812? 
Seeing no one, may I have a motion to close? Motion. A second? second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. opposed? May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 1812? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call? Council Member Ooms? Yes. Council Member Kadish? Yes. Council Member Van Tassel? Yes. Council Member Alberger? Yes. Council President Murphy? Yes. Motion carries to adopt Ordinance 1812. <clears throat> ordinance 1813, an ordinance of the Township of Vernon in the County of Sussex, New Jersey, authorizing the purchase of various equipment and repairs in, by, and for the Township pursuant to NJSA 40 colon 56-1, and appropriating, therefore, the sum of $15,750 and providing that such sum so appropriated shall be raised from the Capital Improvement Fund account of the Township. Motion. We have a second? Second. Is there anyone from the public? And that's to open up to the public. Is there anyone that has uh, any comments on Ordinance 1813? Seeing no one, may I have a motion to close? Motion. May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 1813? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Councilmember Ooms? Yes. Councilmember Kadish? Yes. Councilmember Van Tassel? Yes. Councilmember Allberger? Yes. Council President Murphy? Yes. Ordinance 1814, an ordinance to repeal and replace the code of the Township of Vernon, Chapter 130, Abandoned Properties, Unfit Buildings. This ordinance establishes the registering of vacant and abandoned properties, as well as the responsibilities of the owners and enforcing enforcement regarding the same. May I have a motion to open the public hearing for Ordinance 1814? Motion. May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Is there anyone from the public that would like to step up to address this ordinance? Seeing no one, may I have a motion to close public for Ordinance 1814? Motion. motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 1814? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Councilmember Ooms? Yes. Councilmember Kadish? Yes. Councilmember Van Tassel? Yes. Councilmember Allberger? Yes. Councilmember President Burke? Yes. Ordinance Ordinance 1815, an ordinance of the Township of Vernon, County of Sussex, State of New Jersey, creating Chapter 484 of the Municipal Code of the Township of Vernon entitled Soil Fill Placement and amending Chapter 250 of the Code of the Municipal Code of the Township of Vernon to include soil fill permits, fees, and escrows. This places limits on the amount of soil placed on a person's property as well as a procedure and enforcement mechanism if those limits are exceeded. May I have a motion to open to the public hearing for Ordinance 1815? Motion. Do we have and a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Is there anyone from the public that would like to step up and have any comments on Ordinance 1815? I'm Pat Stassi, 30 year resident live on four Silver Spruce Drive. And I stopped by down here tonight to thank you for taking the measures to take upon a serious item in our township. I think the ordinance that uh, you're, you're going to pass has had a lot of thought and a lot of planning. And I believe it may be one of the most important ordinances this council and future councils will look back and say this was one of the most important things we have ever done as a group. So on behalf of many people in the township, myself and my family, I thank you for your uh, stewardship in getting this done. And you've done a very, very uh, good job. So with that, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the public? Seeing no one else, may I have a motion to close the public for Ordinance 1815? Motion. motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 1815? Motion. Second. Roll call? Councilmember Yes. Councilmember Kadish? Yes. Councilmember Van Tassel? Yes. Yes. President Murphy. Yes. 
Public comments. Public comments are limited to three minutes. Uh, may I have a motion to open motion. up the floor? May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Is there anyone from the public that would like to step up and address? Any comments? Hi, good evening. Scott A. Smells, Barry Lakes. Uh, I usually attend all the township council meetings, but since my dad fell ill <coughs> in September and he passed away two weeks ago, I, I've missed a lot of number of meetings recently caring for him. And uh, uh, he had dementia and Parkinson's, which finally this month's proclamation. Thank you. Um, so my concern is regarding comments I had read from the minutes of the February 26th council meeting, which I missed. Uh, the comments made by the, uh, uh, I think, Council Member Orberger and the Mayor about revisiting the previous administration's agreements with the lake communities regarding reimbursement costs for snow plowing. Um, we advise the, the prior administration had entered into that agreement to avoid litigation costs as the private lake communities had come together collectively and were preparing, preparing to file a lawsuit several years ago. So, some background on this is the uh, New Jersey's Municipal Services Act, we call it the Kelly Bill, uh, was adopted in 1989, amended in 1993. The basis of the litigation, of the legislation is that while homes on public streets receive municipal services from the township with costs paid by the homeowner's tax dollars, homes that are a part of the Lake Community Associations with roads maintained by our own associations do not receive these township services, but our homeowners pay the same tax rates. At the same time, our homeowners pay dues or association fees used to contract and pay for hiring private snow plowing services. Double taxation is often a term used by residents in the private community to describe having to pay property taxes in addition to these fees they pay for the community associations for services like snow plowing, recycling, etc. Uh, various lawsuits and debates throughout the state eventually led to the current Municipal Services Act, Kelly Bill legislation that requires municipalities to provide uh, qualified private communities in New Jersey with some of the services that regular homeowners receive. Whether you agree with the Municipal Services Act or not, it is New Jersey law. Uh, and it is my fiduciary duty as president of Barry Lakes to protect our residents' interests. Uh, thanks to the Municipal Services Act, residents of Barry Lakes no longer incur double payments for these same municipal services. The Municipal Services Act requires that municipalities provide snow and ice removal for qualified private communities in the same fashion, quote unquote, they provide these services to homes along public streets. A municipality may also adopt to reimburse a lake community for those costs, but in an amount equivalent to what the town would have paid to provide those services themselves. About, and I'm going off of memory here, I think it was about eight years ago, the former township manager had proposed doing away with reimbursing private communities, instead proposed having the township DPW assume responsibility for a snow plowing. Am I getting pulled off? Uh, you, you, go ahead, you can finish. Um, as a cost-saving measures to the township. So leaders of the various uh, Vernon Township private communities ended up forming a collective coalition uh, and had many, many meetings with the township officials about this. And while Vernon Township is well within its rights to assume the added responsibility of snow plowing our communities, our dispute at that time was regarding the costs. The township had its snow plowing fig costs figured out and knows what it costs to plow a mile of township roadway. The township knows what they pay the DPW per, w, per hour uh, the cost of fuel, the cost of the truck, and the DW, DPW puts all that together and comes up with a number per mile. Uh, the then former township manager looked at the private lake communities and said, we can do it cheaper. Uh, this cost savings plan proposed by the township manager at the time took a, a total of all the roads, miles, in the lake communities, multiplied it by their per mile cost used by the DPW, and using that per mile factory, he concluded Vernon Township could save money by having the DTBW do the snow plowing instead of reimbursing the private lake communities for doing it. The leaders of the lake communities, however, disputed the township manager's calculations as it did not 
consider quote-unquote difficulty factors. The DPW's per mile costs are primarily based on services that are comparatively flat or moderately steep. Our lake community roads, however, are rarely flat, often involve smaller, winding, steep, hilly, twisty, short roads with many intersections, turns, curves, cul-de-sacs, dead ends, etc. So plowing our roads are much more difficult, time-consuming, and costly than plowing Church Street or Vernon Crossing Road. And in uh, communities such as mine, Barry Lakes, where it's much cooler than down here on Church Street, we often have more snow and ice than down here in the valley. And sometimes we have snow and ice events on the mountain when it only rains down here. This all makes our per mile snowplow costs much higher than the DPW's per mile costs. So our, argue, our argument was that the township manager was not considering the full true costs and difficulty of taking over snow plowing our communities. In uh, May of 1988, the appellate division of New Jersey State Superior Court ruled in the Stone Hill decision that because the roads in that development are steep, the reimbursement cost per mile by the township to that association should be higher. The trial judge and appellate court ruled that you must consider the difficulty. The township was required to apply a difficulty factor to the DPW's per mile cost in determining what the expense reimbursement rate to Stonehill would be. This same method is applied currently to our lake communities. At the end of every year, lake uh, communities such as Barry Lakes provides Vernon Township with documentation, copies of our paid snow plowing bills, etc. Then the township applies their per mile cost times the mile, miles of roads, times <coughs> the number of snow events, and multiplies it, uh, adds a difficulty factor to come up with the reimbursement rate to the lake communities. Bear in mind, the lake communities hire private contractors to do the snow plowing, which we also argue is a lower cost than what the DPW can do. But uh, during our dispute with the township manager several years back, the lake communities had studies done which found our actual difficulty factors varied. Some lake communities were 1.3, some were 1.7. Um, so the previous administration um, had agreed to an across-the-board reimbursement rate or difficulty factor of 1.5% for all lake communities. Even with this difficulty factor, many communities never get fully reimbursed 100% for a snow plowing cost, despite the Municipal Services Act and Stonehill decisions. Another factor in this equation, which I understand Councilmember Allberger questioned on the February 26th meeting, is the cost of salt and grit. Uh, in years past, we would have had our private snow plow contractors purchase the salt and grit themselves then those costs would be included in our bills for reimbursement to the township. But as part of the uh, Vernon Lakes Township Lake Communities Coalition's discussions with the prior township administration, it was realized that the township can purchase grit and salt at a much lower cost per ton through the co-op than our private contractors could buy it for. So as part of our agreement with the prior administration, Vernon Township agreed to provide the salt and grit to the lake communities, as this ultimately would result in saving to everybody, including the township. But after reading the minutes of the February 26th council meeting, it appears we are at, starting at it again all over. Uh, and mind you, I, I've not been consulted on this. Uh, as far as I know, none of the other lake community leaders have, have either that I've reached out to. We have no interest in fighting the same fight over and over and over. We are not your enemy. We represent about 40% of the households in Vernon Township. Uh, it would be nice if we had the basic courtesy, courtesy of outreach in these discussions. The township's problems are not going to be carried in the back of, of the private lake communities. If the council wants to revisit the prior administration's agreements, and we will recommend hiring a forensic accounting firm to come up with the real internal costs of plowing within the township and to examine Vernon's timekeeping records, winter prep records, etc. If the township reimbursement numbers are low, as they appear to be for most of us lake communities, 
I would suspect a demand for increased reimbursement payments will be made by the Vernon Township Lake Community Coalition, and a lawsuit may need to be filed. May I ask you a question? Excuse me, Dan. We don't really want to get into a back and forth. I understand, but I would like to ask him a question. Yeah, I have a question for him as well. (coughs) Would you like to take a 40% assessment of the cost of the new salt shed so that your salt could be provided to you? No. Ah. There are other factors that should be brought into this. Okay. I have always been against the 1.5 formulation for everybody, and I really think it should be reconsidered. It was a judge who decided that. I also think that in the future, if roads are going to be repaved, they should be repaved to the township standards, which has never been done. That's not part of the Municipal Services Reimbursement Act. No, but then the township could plow the roads. You can certainly assume plowing the roads yourself that you're within your right. That's right. It's only so you don't suffer double taxation. And we've always had negotiations way back in the 90s when I was commissioner of the DPW. We always renegotiated every year. And then it was made easier by applying this general 1.5. And for many years, I don't believe you had negotiations. And then we started negotiating. Then we had a study. Uh, And that study reveals some other points of view. The study has never been applied. But perhaps maybe we should go back and look at that study, which is quite recent. Mm -hmm. So I understand your point of view, but uh, I think there are other factors involved, including the salt shed. Okay. So your point being that the lake community should pay for the township's salt storage? I'm not making conclusions. I'm just saying if you're going to open it up for discussion, there are other factors that really should be considered. Did you have any comments? My comment is to Dan. Is there salt stored off-site? What was this The salt is being delivered, I think, at this moment. Actually, uh, I don't know if other lake communities do it differently, but... We have our contractor come down and pick up the supplies of salt from Vernon. Well, much Township. of it is being delivered, I think, by our trucks. Some are, some are being delivered. But I you think. don't have a place that locks it up. Locks it up? No. We right. have an area that's with cement blocks in, in an area. There. That, and that was, the, that was the whole idea, Sandy. No, that is that the question? That was the question. Is that those delivered to Bering Lakes? I'll make my right. comment back during just, council comments. Right. That's why I wanted to let it, leave it to its council comments. So if you have any comments. So... Council members will make some comments during their council comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the public that have any comments? Seeing no one else, may I have a motion to close the public? Motion. motion. Second? All in, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Mr. Uh, Volker, do you have any comments, the mayor's comments? or? The only thing I wanted to announce is that the mayor has made two appointments to the Recreation Committee. That's Kelly Brooks and Carolyn Cassace. Thank you. Council comments. Council Member Orberger. Um, about what I had talked to the mayor was I had said we need to look at what it costs the township to just reimburse the lake communities money for snow as opposed to we're trucking in the sand, and then we are mixing it and trucking it out. It's costing the township twice. That's why I was looking to see, is it what is it costing the township to do this? Should we just reimburse them? Never said anything about taking money away from them or not doing that. Just looking at the township's end of it, which is better for the town, because we're also using the employees to send this all out there when there's other work that needs to be done, especially when we're understaffed. That's what I was saying to the mayor. We need to look at the cost back and forth. Never said that we shouldn't take care of the communities like we always have, just which works better for the town. That's what that was about. I think we wanted them to have a secure location. 
No, that's the thing. Some of the like communities, like a, it doesn't have, but it was just the fact that we're spending money twice on fuel trucks and men to move this stuff around. The other thing that I would like to say is Saturday, I'm part of Kiwanis, and we did a roadside cleanup. It's a fundraiser. A lot of the, it's through clean communities, a lot of the organizations, the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Recreation, they do this to, we do it for scholarship money. People of the township really need to slow down when they see the litter signs up until they go through both sides because we had two groups on either end going through and it's like, you know, just try to pretend you're in Augensburg. You know you're going to do the speed limit. You know, just have a little courtesy for people. And it would make it because there's going to be more kids out there doing this. So, and so I just want to make people aware. Thank you. No comment. No comment. Council Member Kadish. I just, um, I'll make a, another announcement later on, but on the 26th of April, uh, we're having a, a general uh, session for seniors. Uh, we have 31 different agencies uh, coming to the Crystal Springs from 6 to 9 uh, to discuss every issue that might come up when you become a senior. Um, everything from, from uh, services being offered by the county to hospice uh, to who's going to take your dog uh, and care for it while you're in the hospital and things like that. So it's a pretty informative session uh, at the Crystal Springs being uh, sponsored by um, uh, the uh, American Association of University Women and uh, it's going to be quite a night. Thank you. Councilmember Holmes? Uh, no, but you know, going forward now, we cannot put a time limit on we, the last speaking. Yeah, session. yeah, we really can, and we'll. No, no. no you know we what? Can't pick Go and ahead. I'll, I'll let you. And finish. I have no problem with how long people can talk forever. I I'll have no finish. problem with that. But now you can't pick and choose. So I just want to bring that to your attention, because that will be an ACU. Uh, yeah, that's ACL okay. Go ahead. Violation. I have no problem with it, but. Going forward, I don't think you'll be able to put time limits on. Is there anything else? No? Uh, just to follow up on that, um, the plowing of the roads, there was a report prepared back in 2011. That's where a lot of this is coming from. As a matter of fact, the prior administration held up the report and said he didn't understand why it was even prepared, but it was an engineer's report. I think it, the cost was somewhere around $12,000. And that report, uh, the mayor does have that report. So it's a report that was prepared, was paid for by the taxpayers, because one of the items that happened is I think it was Great Gorge that they determined that it would be, be paid on 1.5%. And at some point, and that was a, the attorney at that time said when he reviewed it, at some point it looks like different lake communities were be, being paid at a different percentage, whether it was 1.2 or He said and at some point someone just started paying 1.5. So that report was prepared maybe the end of 2010, beginning of 2011. But it was never really um, implemented. Nothing in it was really used. And then, like I said, somehow it, it just stayed at 1.5, but a report was paid for and done. It was not just an arbitrary numbers that, that were brought up. And that's probably something that you may hear being referred to. I'm not even sure where Barry Lakes fell in. So, well, I'm just, I'm, just like some, I'm just kind of giving you a little clarity as to where some of that conversation came from that, uh, with that report. So, um, and then, as they mentioned, you know, the lake communities do have to have a secure location for their salt because if the town is delivering to whichever entity, you know, it has to be locked up because not saying anybody's taking it, but it's, it needs to be locked up. Um, another little bit of information is the building department does now open at 7 a.m. So if anyone is, is, um, wants to visit the building department to apply for permits or, or pick out anything up, uh, the building department is open. Um, as far as with the clean communities, I would imagine if the Kiwanis or any of the groups are out there, possibly a notification to the police department letting the, the mayor know. And 
you know, that, that's... that would be wonderful. We tried that when I uh, worked on the road department. We couldn't get the police to come out for it, well, so good luck. Well, when the fire department, uh, when they were um, hanging up the snowflakes, um, the police department did come out just to, to check. So, And that's what they said all, all they needed to do was ask. Um, and as far as open to the public, our meeting was moving quite along. Um, this gentleman from Barry Lakes had a topic that was of interest, and there's certainly no reason why the meeting cannot, the public cannot be extended to people. As far as anybody making accusations of ACLU, that's that's I'm fine. That, I, I'm just saying. Excuse me. Just a word I, of caution. That's all. Could, could you had your turn? Could you let I me have speak? More to say, so my turn's well, not over. When you're done, I have a question. So anyhow, <laughs> just to just to finish. It's best to let uh, this gentleman, as he said, he was not here in a while. He had some issues. He was discussing um, an issue for many lake communities, not just his own. So to uh, make this open statement that, oh, it's an ACLU violation, that's totally inaccurate. Did you have any other comments? Yeah. What? Um, how come the historic designation question for the Board of Ed building has not come back up for vote? What, what, what went on there? That was, uh, was directed that, at the lawyer. Well, he was not here, and that, and I'm just well, letting him know that Mr. Zelinsky. Got it right. If you're representing us, <laughs> you should know why, right? That, that was the one where Mr. Zelinsky was going yeah, to say. I mean, it's so, my understanding that it was tabled. Yeah, so. but why though? I mean, now it doesn't seem like it. Would, we've set a date for it to return, and it never did. I don't think we set a date oh. for it to return. Yeah, I thought it. Yes, no. we did. Yeah, we did. No. Yes, we did. No, we did not. Yeah, we did. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. What, what's, the, what's the answer to the question? Why is it not coming back to vote on? It, you have to lift it from the table at some point. But nobody said that it wasn't coming back to vote on. Mr. Zielinski said... said somewhere. No, Mr. Zielin, Mr. Zielinski said that he needed to speak to the engineer and the land use attorney, and that's where we left it at last. And we did not vote to um, bring it back at any certain date. So if oh, you I'm want sorry. to, then, when then you can go back and listen to the tape. Reading, then I you, guess you can go back and listen to the tape. You held it up when it was supposed to come back, right? Because people came to to talk about it, mm -hmm. and you took it off the agenda. Yeah. Right. So, um, why did we take it off, though? I just said that that Mr. Zelinsky needs to speak yeah, to the engineer. The issues, do you know? I don't know. You'd have to address it with him. Okay. Will it be coming back? Mr. Zelinsky said he would be speaking to them and then he would get back to us. Listen to the tape. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm asking the lawyer. Well, well, and we'll, I'm check, just we'll, questions. we'll check into it and we'll, um, we'll give you an update after the due diligence has been conducted. He asked me that day, so that's why he was not. All right, thank Mr. you very Towns much. Mr. Towns is not thank here. You. Motion to adjourn. Motion. I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I missed it.